Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. Today we've got some important updates. Social security payments could potentially decrease by up to $550 per month for some individuals. We'll be delving into the reasons behind this. Also, Republican Senator Rand Paul is calling out Mitch McConnell and other leaders in Washington for what he describes as criminal neglect. They're allocating another $100 billion overseas while many Americans continue to struggle. Now, let's get into today's lead story. Social Security beneficiaries may see a significant decrease in their monthly checks, potentially up to $550 on average. According to the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, the Social Security Trust Fund is projected to be insolvent within the next decade. The trust fund's reserves are estimated to be exhausted by fiscal year 2032 for old age and survivor's insurance and by calendar year 2052 for disability insurance. Upon insolvency, all beneficiaries could face a 25% across-the-board cut in benefits. There are slight variations between projections from the Congressional Budget Office, CBO, and the Social Security Trustees. The CBO projects insolvency by fiscal year 2033 with a 25% benefit cut, while the trustees suggest fiscal year 2034 with a 20% cut. So, what does this mean for beneficiaries? Let's break it down. Currently, the average Social Security payment for retirees is $1,537 per month, with a maximum of $3,820. Assuming a 2% annual cost of living adjustment, COLA, projected benefits for 2033 could be $1,126 for retirees, $1,836 for disabled individuals, and $2,279 for the average retired worker. However, if the trust fund becomes insolvent in 2033 and benefits are cut by 25%, those figures would drop significantly. For example, the average retired worker's benefit could decrease to $1,709. Their benefits would be reduced to $845 per month, which is lower than what they're currently receiving in 2024. Similarly, SSDI beneficiaries would see their payments reduced to $1,377, a decrease of $200 compared to 2024. The average retired worker's benefit in 2033 would be only $179, with the maximum benefit capped at $3,425, both significantly lower than current levels. These cuts represent substantial reductions across the board. $281 for maximum SSI beneficiaries, $459 for disabled workers, and over $500 for the average retired worker, with the maximum benefit cut by over $1,000. While 2033 may seem distant, the lack of serious attention from lawmakers poses a pressing issue. The next president, likely either Trump or Biden, will be in office until at least 2028 with subsequent administrations handling the issue until 2032. It's imperative that they address Social Security reform promptly, requiring bipartisan cooperation. Meanwhile, amidst domestic challenges like the solvency of the Social Security Trust Fund and the plight of homeless veterans, lawmakers are considering allocating an additional $100 billion to foreign aid for countries like Ukraine and Israel. Senator Rand Paul has labeled this allocation as criminal neglect emphasizing the urgency of addressing domestic crises before diverting funds overseas. He criticizes the leadership, including Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, and Joe Biden, for prioritizing foreign aid over domestic needs. Paul vows to resist this allocation, highlighting the detrimental impact of borrowing money for foreign aid on the nation's strength and stability. In response to Paul's stance, Senator John Fetterman has criticized him, calling him a peckerhead, for wanting to stall legislative proceedings over the Super Bowl weekend. However, Paul's stance reflects a broader debate about the allocation of resources and priorities in addressing domestic and international challenges. What are your thoughts on these issues? Should the government prioritize domestic concerns over foreign aid? Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.